Today's video is brought to you by War Thunder. For decades, the United States has led the world in cutting edge fighter jet technology. But that dominance is now facing a serious challenge. China has officially become the first country to fly what appears to be a sixth generation fighter. The J-36, a sleek, tailless aircraft shrouded in secrecy. This development has sent shockwaves through military circles, leaving many wondering, is the J-36 just a prototype meant to stir the pot? Or has China truly leapfrogged the US in next-gen air combat? Meanwhile, the US Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD fighter, remains stuck in development limbo. While NGAD has been talked about for years, the Pentagon is still weighing its options, even as China's latest move puts immense pressure on the program. The stakes couldn't be higher. Whichever nation masters sixth generation technology first will dictate the future of aerial warfare. Today, we're going to break down everything we know about the J-36 and why it's causing such a stir. Specifically, we'll dive into what makes the J-36 so groundbreaking and whether it truly lives up to its sixth generation label. How this puts the US in a difficult position and forces the NGAD program to accelerate. What the broader sixth generation arms race means for the future of air combat and how it could redefine the global power structure. And to help visualize it all, I'll be using this custom 3D model of the J-36 that's based on everything we've gathered so far. This will give us a closer look at the aircraft's unique design and technological advancements. But here's where things get even more interesting. While the J-36 might be the first alleged sixth generation fighter to take flight, the sixth generation era technically has already started. And it didn't begin with a fighter. Instead, it's begun with the B-21 Raider, the US Air Force's newest stealth bomber. The B-21 has been flying under the radar, literally, for over a year now. And while its role is different from NGAD, its technology is directly influencing the future of aerial warfare. So does the J-36 signal a genuine breakthrough for China? Or is it simply catching up to technology that the US has already been refining? The J-36 could be a game changer or a paper tiger, but one thing is certain, it's forcing the US to act. Whether that means ramping up the NGAD or rethinking its entire air combat strategy remains to be seen. So stick around because we're gonna analyze every detail of the J-36, break down its potential capabilities and compare it to what we know about the NGAD. And as we go through it, my 3D model will help us visualize exactly how this aircraft fits into the future of air combat. Let's take a look and get into it. Before we break down the J-36's cutting edge design and its potential impact on the global arms race, it's clear that modern air combat is evolving at an unprecedented pace. And if you want to experience the thrill of commanding some of the most advanced military machines ever built, there is no better way than today's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, and it's available now for free on PC, consoles, and even mobile devices. With over 2,500 historically detailed tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships from 10 major nations, you can engage in intensive PvP battles spanning over a century of military history. From the biplanes and armored cars of the 1920s to today's cutting edge fighter jets and main battle tanks. And now, for the first time ever, you can take the battle with you wherever you go. War Thunder has launched an all new mobile version for iOS and Android, bringing the same massive multiplayer warfare to your fingertips. Whether you're diving into dynamic ground and sea battles with air support or simply testing out the intuitive controls and impressive graphics, War Thunder Mobile lets you experience the action anytime, anywhere. War Thunder lets you customize vehicles with countless camouflages, historical markings, and decorations, even community made ones. Plus, its X-ray view shows exactly how vehicles are destroyed, revealing shell penetration, damage components, and the final blow. However you like to play, War Thunder has you covered. With a global community of over 70 million players, the battlefield is always alive with action. Click the links or one of the links in the description below to download War Thunder for free today. 
and new players and those who haven't played in six months will also receive a massive bonus pack on PC or consoles that includes multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 silver lions, and seven days of premium account. Available for a limited time only, so don't miss out. Now speaking of next generation war machines, let's get back to the J36 and see how its design is putting pressure on the US to accelerate its NGAD program. The J36 is more than just China's latest fighter jet. It appears to be a bold leap into sixth generation air combat, packed with features that push the boundaries of aviation technology. Here are six things that make it so groundbreaking. Number one, a true sixth generation design. At first glance, the J-36 looks like nothing we've seen before from China. Unlike its predecessors, the J-20 or even the American F-35, this aircraft ditches traditional vertical control surfaces in favor of a tailless diamond-shaped airframe. Features that are shaping up to be the hallmark of next generation stealth technology. These physical features likely will give the J-36 a significant edge in evading radar detection making it potentially one of the stealthiest designs ever flown. However, everything comes at a cost. The tailless design, while stealthy, presents enormous engineering challenges in stability and control. Challenges that China appears to have overcome. Its aerodynamic profile not only reduces drag at high speeds, more on that later, but also contributes to enhanced survivability in contested airspace. Number two, advanced propulsion system. One of the most surprising aspects of the J-36 is its apparent three engine configuration, something completely unheard of in modern fighter design. This could suggest that China has developed a solution to one of the biggest challenges in next-gen aviation, balancing power and efficiency. The middle engine with its dorsal intake might be optimized for supersonic flight while the side engines are designed for takeoff and lower speed operations. Going a bit deeper into the engine layout, could it be possible that this third engine is a hypersonic ramjet or scramjet? Along with giving the J-36 immense speed, a scramjet could also allow the fighter to launch hypersonic missiles at super fast ramjet speeds, greatly extending the range and reach of those missiles. There's also speculation that these engines could integrate variable cycle technology. This would allow the engines to adapt to different flight conditions. These adaptive engines have been demonstrated by General Electric and Pratt & Whitney for the F-35. I've done a whole video on this topic. You can watch that video after this one, link in the description below. If the J-36 does indeed have adaptive engines, it would make the aircraft capable of both extreme fuel efficiency and cruising modes, while also putting out high performance numbers at supersonic speeds. This kind of propulsion flexibility could enable the J-36 to outclass existing 5th gen fighters in range, speed, and endurance. Keep in mind that historically, China has struggled somewhat with engine technology, so we need to take these developments with a grain of salt. However, if their quality control and metallurgy methods have improved, then again, the J-36 could be a credible threat when it enters mass production. Number three, multi-role versatility. Along with engine configurations, the J-36 seems to be more than just a fighter. It appears to be a true multi-role platform that could be capable of excelling in both air superiority and ground strike missions. Though not in the way you might think. Its enormous airframe, while likely not maneuverable, provides plenty of room for a massive internal weapons bay, estimated to be nearly six meters long. This would allow it to carry China's PL-17 long-range air-to-air missiles, cruise missiles, and potentially next-generation hypersonic weapons. And just like America's NGAD, the J-36 appears to be made for high speed and range and not dogfighting. Also, like the NGAD and even the F-35 to some extent, the jet is likely a drone controller, allowing smaller, cheaper, and more maneuverable drones to take up close-range dogfighting scenarios if needed. More on that in a minute. From what we've seen so far, 6th gen is shaping up to be all about speed, range, and controlling drone swarms. And speaking of long range, this also suggests a strategic capability, with the potential to strike targets as far away as Guam, putting US bases and assets in the Pacific under significant threat. 
This range capability makes it not just a tactical fighter, but a strategic weapon capable of reshaping regional power dynamics. Again, if our assumptions are correct, the J-36 could air launch hypersonic missiles that could threaten carrier strike groups in the Western Pacific. Number four, sensor fusion and battlefield integration. When it comes to advanced radar and sensors, China is reportedly aiming to make the J-36 a super node in a larger networked battlefield. The aircraft is believed to feature advanced sensor fusion technology that will integrate data from multiple onboard and offboard sources, which will give its pilots unparalleled situational awareness. Along with this, its rumored cheek-mounted radar arrays and additional sensor apertures suggest 360-degree tracking capabilities. This sensor suite is probably similar to those found on the F-35's Distributed Aperture System, or DAS. On the J-36, these sensors will likely be combined with AI-powered systems. Note the recent release of DeepSeek, which caught the world by surprise in terms of China's AI development. Using advanced AI, the J-36 could coordinate with unmanned drones in ways not seen before, directing them in a loyal wingman-type role for reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and even dogfighting. This would allow the J-36 to dominate the skies while staying at a safe distance from danger. Number 5. Energy Weapons and Power Generation Another standout feature of the J-36 is its rumored electrical power generation capacity, which is vital for future-proofing 6th generation fighters. Modern aircraft are super power hungry. They require massive amounts of electricity for advanced avionics, electronic warfare systems, and sensors. But 6th gen jets will go a step further, potentially integrating directed energy weapons like laser-based missile defenses or offensive laser systems. The three-engine configuration could be the solution to the power demand. Another possibility for the third engine would be to have it optimized for electricity generation. So the J-36 might be preparing to incorporate cutting-edge systems that other fighters simply can't accommodate yet. Again, this is all new technology, so reliability and maintenance schedules will still need to be determined. We just don't know at this point how reliable and available this jet will be. Number 6. Designed for the Future of Warfare So what about the NGAD? Before we get to America's Next Generation Air Dominance Program, let's sum up the J-36 and why it's future-proofed. From what we have seen and know so far, it appears to embody the philosophy of 6th Gen Air Combat, stealth, range, and networked operations that are prioritized over raw maneuverability. While older jets made dogfighting and agility a high priority, Sixth-generation jets like the J-36 assume that aerial combat will be dominated by long-range missile engagements, unmanned drones, and networked warfare. In some ways, we've come full circle back to the missile theory that was prevalent in the 1950s. Interesting. Now, the J-36's tailless design, massive range, and advanced sensors all suggest a platform designed to excel in this environment. By reducing its radar signature and extending its operational capabilities, the J-36 appears to be a perfect fit for modern first strike and contested airspace scenarios. Now, what's interesting is that you could say all of this about the goals of the NGAD program. Remember that recently, the US Air Force put the program on hold and is evaluating its priorities as of the making of this video. Ironically, one of the biggest competitors to the NGAD is actually the B-21 Raider. The Raider is a sixth generation bomber that has been flying for over a year and is showing much promise. Some reports show that the bomber may even be under budget, which is impressive. Like other sixth generation designs, the B-21 is tailless and promises to be even more stealthy than the B-2 Spirit, which it will replace. Now here's the thing, we've already mentioned that what we've seen from every sixth gen concept is that speed, stealth, and range are what's needed in the modern and future battle space. So here's a hot take. The question is, could the B-21 actually serve as both a bomber and a sixth gen fighter? Well, this seems outlandish at first, let's take a look at the size of the J-36. It's more like a bomber than a fighter. In fact, I'd say the J-36 resembles the F-111 in some ways. A delta-shaped oversized fighter that turns out to be more bomber than fighter. 
So is it possible that the B-21 is actually the NGAD? Now, the other side of this argument is that, according to some sources, the NGAD has been flying since 2015. But again, could those have been technology demonstrators for what is now the B-21? Another possibility to consider is that the NGAD program is well underway and the Air Force is keeping it ultra secret for obvious reasons. Regardless of the NGAD status or even existence, China's unveiling of the J-36 has undeniably put the arms race for sixth generation into high gear and is pushing the boundaries of aviation technology while forcing the United States to reassess its own strategy. Whether the J-36 is truly operational or just an early prototype, its mere existence could signal a shift in the balance of power, one that the U.S. cannot afford to ignore. And despite what you might think about the J-36, remember it's always best to never underestimate your enemy. Therefore, in my opinion, the J-36 should be seen as a credible threat. Meanwhile, the NGAD program remains shrouded in secrecy, and its official future is uncertain, while the Air Force reassesses its priorities. The question now then becomes whether the U.S. will accelerate the NGAD's development to maintain its air dominance or pivot toward an alternative solution like the B-21 Raider. One thing is certain, the era of sixth generation warfare has already begun, and whichever nation masters it first will dictate the future of aerial combat. The time for the NGAD program to step up is now, before it finds itself outpaced in the skies. Thanks again to today's sponsor, War Thunder. Play War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, or mobile devices. Use my links in the pinned comment or video description to sign up. New players and those who haven't played in six months will also receive a massive bonus pack on PC or consoles that includes multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive vehicle decorator, Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, and seven days of premium account. Available for a limited time only, so don't miss out. What do you think? Is the J-36 a credible threat? Will the NGAD program resume or is it already flying? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And thank you to my patrons and channel members who go above and beyond and directly support my channel. If you'd like to join, I'll leave links in the description below. The race for sixth generation is starting to heat up. Now you know. PilotPhotog.com